Okay, here we're going to triangulate by drawing three circles to find the location of an earthquake epicenter. Here we have cities and their distances from that epicenter, and we're going to need a pencil and a safety compass. So, uh, and it always has a scale, so you're going to use the scale. Well, let's just dive right in. Tampa is 1,300 kilometers. Now, what you want to do is you want to find 1,300 on here, you read the scale, it may be different, it may go by 50s or 100s or 200s. In this case, it clearly goes by 100s, that's 1,300. And I'm going to put that uh, right on zero, and I'm going to use the inside one here. And there's a little arrow right here. I'm not sure how well that you can see that. A little arrow on there. And I'm going to point that right to 1300. So keep that on zero, 1300. And then I want to tighten it. Tighten this little um, blue knob here. Now be careful. Don't over tighten it. These safety compasses are really they're they're really pieces of junk, and I can't get better ones. These are, are pretty junky, so you can break them. Over tighten them will certainly break them. Even being careful with them may break them, so just, just be aware of that. Um, so I have my 1300. I want to go back and check and make sure I'm right on, which I am. And I'm going to draw that from Tampa just like this. I'm going to put, there is a little um, black, like sort of dot, not black. There's a little dot in the center there, and the way you can see it. See it right there, a little dot? It is right there okay you see it's right there and that should go right on the center of your circle in this case it's Tampa and I gotta remember that I use the inside hole and not the outside if I drew the outside I would be way off and that's a very common mistake don't fall into that trap don't do it I'm gonna draw a circle here sometimes your circles go off the page this one does not uh, that's Tampa San Diego 2500 kilometers so let's do that. Now, I'm going to put this down here just like this. And I'm going to slide across. Notice I can't use the inside. It doesn't get that far. It only gets to 2200. I need to go here. So I have to use the outside one. So in this case, I will slide it right to there. Be careful when I tighten it. And I also want to check and make sure I'm right on 2500. I don't know how well you can see that, but I am. Then I go to San Diego. I put the dot right on San Diego, and I'm going to draw that as well. And then this kind of does go off the page. Don't be too concerned about that. So now my earthquake epicenter is either here or here in that general area. Uh, Chicago, 500. So here's Chicago, 500. Now I just use the outside one. Notice if I go like this, the outside one can only reach to about 900. I have to use the inside hole here. Please be careful. And then I go like that, right on 500. And again, being very accurate here is important. Right on 500, put that on Chicago. Draw it just like that. And I draw my Chicago circle. And I kind of came off, and I'm going to put that right back on there. And I'm going to draw it just like that. Now, the epicenter of the earthquake is where they all meet. I will say this, this worked out perfectly. It can't get any better than this. The epicenter clearly is right where they meet. Okay. Don't expect that to happen every time, okay? What you get is usually get it off a little bit and be ready for it. So I'm gonna show you some examples of those uh, like this, okay? If you have a situation where your circles look like this, uh, see where they kind of meet around here. I would say if you put your X anywhere in this area I'm coloring in, that, that would be good and that would work. And that's kind of close enough, so maybe you want to put your X right there. Good job. That's one example. Here is another example. Let's say you get, and this can happen too. You got to kind of think about where they all meet, and it's probably somewhere kind of right in here. So you should put your X anywhere in here. You usually try to go like for the center of that. And you got to get a feel for what's going to, what's going to be close enough and what's not. So my X epicenter is in there that's good let's do another one sometimes they could kind of miss meeting like this now that, that's pretty close so if your X is kind of anywhere in here that's good and I would just take time to that works here are some here are some other types of examples look at this one for instance let's look at this one now when you look at this, where do they meet? Now, ho hopefully you can see right off the bat, this is way too far off here. 
I, I don't want to put an X in here or anything. This is just something is wrong. If you did this, you did something wrong along the way and you need to go back and find your mistake. Okay? Redo it. Redo it if you need to. So that would just be wrong. You got to go back. And let's look at another example. Uh, I think you can see that this also, this is just way too far off. This is not an acceptable amount of error. Okay, there's clearly nowhere that, that they meet. Maybe one of the circles is wrong. Maybe two of them. Maybe all of them. Not sure. But again, this is not cool. Go back to the drawing board. Look at maybe um, what you did. Try to find a mistake. And that is a pretty good lead in to uh, drawing circles to find epicenters. And I hope you enjoy it. Good luck. And Mr. Gazda signing off.